Welcome to the Littleton Elementary School District 101 Laptop Parent Training. We are thrilled that the 101 classrooms have been expanded to all third grade classrooms across the district. By the end of the school year, we will be in over 50 classrooms with over 1,300 students district wide. We are fortunate to have a strong governing board and superintendent so invested in leading the way with technology and 21st century skills. The 101 Laptop Initiative couldn't have happened without a supportive technology team here in the Littleton Elementary School District. Our entire team is working to support parents, teachers, and students on their educational journey. Sue Garrison has been with the district for over 25 years and serves as the Director of Information and Technology. Her team is ready to serve and support planning, instruction, and school to home support. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to support your child with technology. This is your official welcome to the Littleton Technology Community. The first step for parents is to attend the training or view this training to receive the information. Next, you will be required to sign the parent contract in order for students to begin taking laptops home. In order to get laptops in the hands of students ready to go home, the technology team designed a series of trainings. First, the teachers were trained and provided teaching resources and student training materials. Next, the teachers trained the students on the appropriate classroom procedures and expectations for taking care of their laptop at home and at school. The final part of the process is informing the parents of the acceptable use and care for transporting and using the laptop at home. Once you sign the parent contract at the end of this course, your student will be ready to begin taking their laptop for home use. One-to-one -one computing allows every student to have access to their laptop 24 hours a day, 7 days per week. Feel free to turn to page 5 in your one-to-one -one handbook for additional information. Please make sure that you read over the basic rules for caring for the laptop. Now, let's watch a short video and take a look at some of the ways that students benefit from using laptops in the classroom and at home. Whether you are at home or at school, please make sure to always have clean hands. This will help minimize germs during the cold and flu season and will keep everyone healthy. When carrying your laptop, it is important to hold and lift the computer by its base, not by the screen. If you lift it by the screen alone, you could damage the display or the hinges attaching the display to the base. The display is also easily scratched or damaged by direct pressure. Avoid placing pressure on it. Please make sure to plug and unplug the power cord carefully. Tugging your power cord out from the power socket rather than pulling directly on the plug can cause the cord to break off from the plug or damage the power socket. Also, double check to make sure the plug is secured into the power box. Remember, your cord comes in two pieces and should be secure at the laptop, at the power cord box, and at the electrical outlet. Laptops should always be in a secure place. Leaving a laptop unattended or in a car could result in heat damage and or theft. One student responsibility is to make sure that your laptop is charged each night. Students are responsible for bringing their laptop to school fully charged and ready to use each day. Whether you are at school or at home, Food and drink should not be in the same area or space as the laptop. At school, water bottles should remain on the floor beside the desk, and at home, laptops should be located clear of all food and drink. Technology is an essential part of our world today. The Arizona College and Career Ready Standards require students to think critically and problem solve, to collaborate and innovate, to be effective communicators using their imagination and creativity. 
Recent research shows that interactive technology that allows students to create and explore substantially improves academic achievement, according to a review of more than 70 studies on technology use in the classroom. Along with the Arizona College and Career Ready Standards comes accountability. Students are assessed all throughout the year. Starting in the second quarter, students will begin taking their assessments online. What this means for your child is that students will still have access to a hard copy of their test to read and write on. However, they will also be entering their answers online for immediate upload of their results. Teachers will be able to analyze their results immediately in order to plan lessons and provide feedback to students. Students are not issued district headphones. However, they are encouraged and welcome to bring their own headphones from home for use at school. Students will be issued a sleeve for their laptop, but not issued a backpack. If for some reason your student does not have a backpack, please contact the classroom teacher and we will make sure your student is issued a backpack. Please take a look at page 7 in your one-to-one -one handbook. Section 2 covers the acceptable and responsible use of technology. As you can see, technology devices offer a different way to access information. Although technology violations may look a little different, they are still equivalent to violations in a traditional classroom centuries ago. These are not new problems, they just look and sound different. For example, emailing, texting, or instant messaging while the teacher is instructing is equivalent to a student passing notes or looking at a magazine during instruction. Parents in the Littleton Elementary School District have the right to access and monitor assignments, grades, and attendance through our online Parent View Portal. This resource helps parents stay informed and connected by providing day-to-day -day insight into their child's academic experience. Once activation information has been received, students and parents can create an account and gain access from any internet connection. You can find additional information on the district website at www.littletonaz.org under the quick links for parents. To access ParentView, type in the website in your web browser. The website is www.littletonaz.org. Once the Littleton home screen comes up, then you will want to click on Parent Information located under the quick link on the right side of the screen. After clicking on Parent Information, then scroll down and click Parent View. You will need to enter the username and code provided by your classroom teacher. Next, you will click on the icon that reads, I am a parent. The next screen will prompt you to either log in or activate your account. If you have not activated your account, you will need to follow the activation directions that were sent home with your classroom teacher. If you have already activated your account, then you simply log in using the username and password. On page 10 of the 101 handbook, you can refer to the section on cyberbullying. Cyberbullying is defined as any type of harassment or bullying, such as teasing, telling lies, making fun of someone through email, a chat room, instant messaging, a website including blogs, social networking sites like Facebook, even text messaging, videos or pictures posted on websites sent through cell phones. Cyberbullying includes the use of technology or other electronic means to post any hurtful information about another person on the internet or making unwanted contact by threatening or insulting. Bullying or cyberbullying will not be tolerated in the Littleton Elementary School District. Section 3 in the one-to-one -one handbook can be found on page 10. This section covers damaged, lost, or stolen equipment. 
By signing the contract, you agree to the liability and financial responsibility of the device. There are fees associated with the damaged equipment. For example, a cracked screen to replace is $100. Water damage can vary between $100 all the way up to $250. A broken keyboard to replace is $50. A lost power cord, $70. And the replacement value will be current market value, which could range between $499 to $599. If the device is not returned, or is intentionally damaged, the student is responsible for the cost of repair or the replacement value of the device. Although district laptops come equipped with an anti-theft device, a police report must be filed and provided to the school district technology department. If the laptop is damaged because of negligence, the student may be responsible for the full replacement cost of the laptop. If a laptop is lost or stolen any time outside of school, parents should take the following steps. First, contact the police right away to file a claim for lost or stolen property. Be sure to get a case number or an incident number from the responding police officer. Next, contact your classroom teacher at your child's school during classroom hours. Be ready to provide them with the case or the incident report number which you obtained from the police officer. They will follow up with the technology department and get them all the information that they need to follow up on your case. Pages 10 through 12 in the one-to-one -one handbook covers the topics of homework, connecting to the internet outside of school, and troubleshooting. In order to support your student at home with technology assignments, you may want to consider an at-home internet service provider. If you do not have an internet service provider, you may qualify for Cox's Connect to Compete initiative that provides an internet service for just $9.95 per month if you qualify. If you do not have access at home, students are able to connect at many community locations, such as Starbucks, McDonald's, and the Avondale Library. The Avondale Civic Center Library is located on Civic Center Drive, just south of Van Buren and Avondale Road. They offer free Wi-Fi and internet services for all students. Section 5, located on page 12 of the 1 to 1 handbook, offers some tips on taking care of your laptop at home. Remember that all school rules apply at home and you must remain on appropriate sites. The filter at school will be running at home. Please do not spray cleaner directly on the screen, but rather spray it on a cloth first and then wipe down the device. Keep the laptop free of any stickers or markings and make sure to charge it overnight. As a parent, your primary job is to keep your children safe and to monitor their use. We want the entire family to have fun while following the school expectations. Section 6 on page 14 of the 101 Handbook is all about parent responsibility and keeping our kids safe online. The rules that apply at school are there to help keep students safe. During school hours, students only use their device for education and research. Teachers monitor their use at all times and train their students on the use of the laptop and internet safety. Please review all the safety do's and don'ts with your children in Section 6 before they start using their laptops. Never give out personal information. Never use your parents' credit card without permission. Never share your passwords with anyone. Never arrange to meet face-to-face -face with anyone. Do not use bad language or send threatening email. These rules are non-negotiable and are designed to protect your child. There are several student-friendly search engines out there that are kid-friendly. Kintera, KidRex, and KidsClick are all great choices when researching a topic or looking up information on the Internet. Section 6 
on page 14 of the one to one handbook is all about parent responsibility and keeping our kids safe. The rules that apply at school are there to help keep students safe. During school hours, students only use their device for education and research. Teachers monitor their use at all times and train their students on the use of the laptop and internet safety. Please review these safety do's and don'ts with your child before they start using their laptops. These rules are non-negotiable and are designed to protect your child's safety. One, model good behavior. Put your own cell phone away during family time. Two, pay attention to what your child is doing while in front of the computer. What sites they visit, with whom they are communicating. Ask them to use the computer in a common room, not behind closed doors. Ask and know your child's password. Monitor any social media sites they frequent to make sure they are safe and check the browser history. If the history is empty, ask your child why. Three, share your values with your child. Discuss cheating, lying, being cool, piracy. Four, establish limits. Limit computer and cell phone time. Five, encourage balanced lives. Balanced computer time and internet games with outdoor play, sports, reading, visiting with friends and family. Six, make kids accountable. Cell phones and internet are a privilege. Teach your child to be responsible in how they use them. If they abuse them, there should be consequences. Stick to your rules. Seven, discuss what is at stake. Once a picture, video, or words are posted on the web, they can never be retrieved. Millions of people can potentially see them or read them. Eight, find ways to say yes. Find fun sites and tools. Nine, it's not rocket science. Ask your child to teach you. Discuss with other parents on your, or your child's teacher. And 10, lighten up and enjoy. Embrace your child's new world of technology. Your student's school-issued laptop is installed with software to prevent access to inappropriate sites. The school internet is filtered the same at home as it is at school. The filter will be on at all times, which blocks out inappropriate content or keywords. At the back of your one-to-one -one handbook in the appendices, you will find a copy of the acceptable use policy that you signed upon registering your students, as well as a glossary of educational technology terms. Now that you have completed the parent training, you may sign the parent contract and your student may begin taking home their laptop. The process is the same as checking out a book at the library. You are responsible for the device until you return it and check it back in. This is exciting news about your child as they begin their technology journey. If you have any additional questions, please contact your child's classroom teacher. Thank you for partnering together with the Littleton Elementary School District.